What is going on everybody? Steven here. It's been a while since I've done a video. I wanted to give you guys an update on what I have going on for the uh, Peacock Gudgeons. Some of these tanks are a little dirty. I haven't cleaned uh, recently. I only try to clean the front anyway to, to leave a lot of the algae and stuff. I raise a lot of shrimps and stuff in here as well. So sorry if there's a glare or if uh, you can't really see in there. So this is the actual main breeding tank. There's the mama right there. Uh, the dad is currently sitting on another batch of eggs So all the peacock gudgeons in here are ones I haven't caught out like, like you see all these little fry swimming around that one's pretty big probably time to move that one out but uh, I Haven't been pulling the eggs because I already have a ton of them raising up right now So whatever happens in there like it if they don't eat them is what um, currently I guess I'd, I'm gonna be taking out and and raising so I'm not actively trying to raise uh, big clutches of eggs or anything so here are some of the uh, juveniles I'm trying to get this thing to focus it's not really focusing too well you see they're they're looking really good um, this is the also uh, uh, what's it called got my blue shrimp in here they're they're blue velvet yeah blue velvet shrimp uh, I put that spawning mop in there. It should be full of uh, Praycox rainbow eggs also. So I'm trying to get those guys breeding again. Uh, the tank over here I, is just overflow basically. I put more of those peacock gudgeon fry in here. They're doing really well. I feed them baby brine shrimp and um, flakes and stuff like that. This tank was a uh, was trying to raise some orange shrimp in here, but I only had females and I didn't have any male orange shrimp. And so I made a dumb decision and put a, uh, a male cherry shrimp in there and I had a ton of red shrimp after that so I had to get rid of the colony because it wasn't uh, wasn't what I was trying to do so I'm gonna be starting over with uh, maybe I don't know it could be a really type of shrimp or you know just another type of neo neo caradino so yeah I wanted to show you guys what's going on here with these tanks I also so here's a 75 gallon with all the Praycox rainbows in here. Um, I'll do a video separate for these, but that's the uh, the first batch I, I raised. All the original ones I think passed, and then uh, got these guys raising up. They'll be a lot more hardy than the uh, than the original wild caught ones. So moving on over, that's the pea puffer tank. But I want to show you guys the 55 gallon because I put a lot of overflow peacock gudgeons in here as well. As you can see there's like absolute tons of them. I think I put 50 in here originally from the from the first batch. So just trying to feed these guys up, get them to grow fast so I can take them to the fish store. But yeah, wanted to show you guys an update what kind of what's going on here with the peacock gudgeons. I'll make another video for what's going on over here. I know it's a surprise. Um, yeah. Hope you guys are doing good. Enjoy.